Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. The ancient law of kings, the Noahide laws by one of my favorite authors, Ken Johnson. One reason I like Ken Johnson is he takes popular but unusual text and produces them for the masses. Most of them are just in this same kind of brownish cover and then he'll change the, uh, the front. And they're usually about $12.99. And so we're gonna see what this is. The ancient law of kings. Basically what a Noahide law is, is after the flood that there were certain precepts set down for righteous gen gentile kingdoms and i know in some conspiracy theory and stuff people are saying that they're about to reintroduce the noahide laws and the, the laws of idolatry the noahide laws would say jesus is an idol and blah 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 we're not talking about any of that today this is about this book i first was introduced to noahide laws um, reading biblical archaeology today it seemed like there was always an ad about learning about noahide laws and i was always fascinated by it and this was before the internet so you couldn't just look it up okay according to first samuel 10 25 the prophet samuel wrote down the parts of the law of moses that pertain only to the king of israel explaining them thoroughly he then placed the scroll in the tabernacle this was preserved and handed to down through the centuries, handed to down through the centuries. Okay, this text known as the Law of Kings explained the king's role in the government of ancient Israel. It also explained in great detail the court systems Israel had, one for the Jews and one for the Gentiles. Gentile law, also called Noahide law, is explained as originating with Adam in the pre-flood world, being revived by Noah after the flood. I didn't even know that part about it. Noahide laws is found a uh, in many ancient manuscripts, including the Talmud and the Dead Sea Scrolls. This means it was the official doctrine of the Sadducees, Pharisees, and the Essenes. Today, all major groups, Orthodox Jews, Messianic Jews, and Christians, believe Noahide law is still applicable to Gentiles. The Hebrew Roots Movement rejects the concept of Noahide law and therefore misunderstands the role of the Mosaic law for Christians. This text explains why Gentiles have never been bound by kosher food laws, Jewish temple rituals, or the Saturday Sabbath. He's authored over 28 books, and he's on the leadership team of Calvary Chapel, Johnson County, and Olathe, Kansas, married to Danita Johnson, and have three children. So let's open it up inside, and uh, we'll see kind of what's in there. We'll let you see... Sister Aldrin zooms in the table of contents. But I really like Ken Johnson because he is very methodical. And like I had always heard, I think it was a book of Jasher that I was reading a lot by him. Well, before that, I'd always heard that, you know, it was all totally bogus and all that. And it all kind of certainly is. I've done a video on that. You can watch the video on the nuances there. And, uh, but he gave a very good explanation of the different uh, book of Jashers that are out there. One that was a forgery, but one that does have a provenance that goes back, you know, to almost 2,000 years, if my memory serves me correctly. It's like the king must be humble, uh, all kinds of stuff. I was just watching the king has 18 wives maximum i don't think that applies anymore this is old testament <laughs> devotion to god and then the seven noahide laws the history the six adamic laws the first law idolatry next blasphemy murder fornication fornication clarified gentile adultery uh, and so it just goes it's just really good uh, in all that. And another thing I really like, let me see if I can find a page, I guess they're all like that, is the spacing. It, it's good print, good spacing, it's really easy to read. And in a lot of his books, one of my favorite books is Post-Flood History, even though I think Bill Cooper does a better job, um, Ken Johnson's is excellent on that, that, uh, you know, just short chapters and so you know you read two or three pages and you're done and it really gives you a good stopping point so 
I'm not saying I agree with everything in this book, Noahide laws, on and on and so forth. I'm looking for Jesus. But I did think it would be a fascinating study. And I just like to introduce people to books you may be interested in. And so I can't read all the books I've got. I do study. I try to have them for a reason. But uh, I don't just collect books or anything like that. But this is something in a genre that you might be interested in. Hey, God bless you. Thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Share with your friends, family, social media. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.